big week off the court for the Warriors who hired Brandon Schneider to be the next president and COO of the franchise. Promoted from within, he's in his 19th year with the team and began as a ticket account executive back in 2002. Plus, he's local. He graduated from the Menlo uh, School in Atherton. Joining us now from his home is Warriors' new president, Brandon Schneider, born in the Bay Area, born and raised, a lifelong Warrior fan. Brandon, this job has got to be a dream come true. It is indeed. Uh, very excited. Been with the Warriors for 19 years and uh, really excited for this new challenge. I read that uh, you went to your first Warrior game at age seven. <laughs> That's a long time ago. What do you remember about that team about that year? Well, it's funny. I, I, I didn't remember the. So I remember the first game was a quadruple overtime win over the Nets. I was not there for the end of the game. Uh, <laughs> one of our PR people just reminded me that Joe Barry Carroll had 42 points and 24 rebounds that night. Um, but but what I what I remember from the early days was run TMC, right? It was it was Moley. Uh, Tim Hardaway and Mitch Richmond. You've been with the Warriors for 19 years. What was your first job? I started out in ticket sales, uh, making cold calls, trying to sell tickets for a team that was in the middle of uh, an 18 year span where we made the playoffs <laughs> once. I think you guys were 21 and 61. That was not an easy, easy sell. No, no, it was not. Uh, th those were the days. Gary St. Jean was the GM. Eric Musselman was the head coach when I started. Mookie Blaylock was a point guard, I think, right? <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds about right. In the early days, we drafted Arenas and Jason Richardson. It was it was that era. That was uh, uh, Gilbert and Jason came in the same draft. That was actually a really good draft. Yeah, so Gilbert was in the second round. Yeah. Jay, Jay Rich, I think, was five. And then Troy Murphy, if I remember correctly, was 17 that year, I want to say. Yeah. So winning actually uh, uh, came, and when new ownership came in, uh, Brandon, how do you convince the ownership group that you were part of the solution and not the problem of those losing years? Yeah, it was, it was an interesting time. When Joe and Peter bought the team in 2010, it, it was great because they didn't come in with any preconceived notions. So they came in and spent time to, to assess the business. And I think, you know, I think one of the things that, that clicked um, as we were getting to know each other is I'm, I'm, a, I'm a math guy. I'm analytical by nature. And that's that's how Joe and Peter are. They want always to make sure we're looking at data, uh, make, making data informed decisions, which is, you know, it's, which is inherent to, to, to the way I think about things. Um, but but, you know, I'm, I'm I was very fortunate that they took the time to get to know all of us and, you know, obviously built an incredible relationship with Joe and Peter over the years. What's your biggest challenge going forward? Obviously, the day, uh, days of cutouts are over. Real fans are coming back. Where's the biggest challenge for you? So I'll, I'll, I'll name three. I mean, one is is filling the shoes of Rick Welts. Um, you know, uh, my boss right now, Hall of Famer, uh, Hall of Famer in every sense of the word. So uh, obviously, I've been fortunate to learn from him, but that's that's a big one. And then, you know, you, you touched on it, but getting out of the pandemic. So, you know, we're welcoming fans back uh, next Friday. Super excited about that, um, but limited capacity. So we're working towards what this new normal will look like through the rest of this year and next year. And then the last one I'll say is we're already working hard to lay the blueprint for how we have more success over the next 10 years than we've had over the last 10. You said you're a numbers guy. NBA uh, TV ratings are down. What feedback have you received or research are you getting that might reflect on uh, NBA ratings being down? So I think a lot of the stuff out there can be a misnomer. I mean, our, our ratings, by the way, on, on NBC Sports Bay Area are up over 100% over last season. It helps that you know we're, we're healthier and playing better basketball than we were last year. But some of the ratings that you're looking at are linear television. Um, and, and overall, there, there may be a few less people watching on linear, but there's there's people watching um, over the top, watching watching online. The way that people consume content is definitely changing. Um, we're, we're, in the words of Peter Goober, I think we're in the, at the beginning of the beginning of that evolution. Um, so it'll be inter interesting to see how that evolves you know, over the next five, 10 years and beyond. Hey, uh, did you sign off on Lake Up giving $4,000 to Draymond uh, by Steph Curry the wine? <laughs> 
No comment. <laughs> <laughs> well played uh, by the new president. Hey, uh, Brandon, I appreciate uh, you coming on uh, game day tonight. All the best and good luck as we go forward. Thank you very much, Dennis. Appreciate you having me on.